We're about to play a game called What's Behind Me. My partner tonight is the host of the Emmy-nominated The Drew Barrymore Show, and she has a new cookbook out right now called Rebel Homemaker Food Family Life, available November 2nd. Please give it up for the one and only Drew Barrymore! Ah, I love you, love you, love you. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, all right, Drew, uh, here's how the game works. Drew and I will be, uh, take turns facing our backs to the curtain. Behind the curtain will be something neither of us have seen before. It could be people, could be objects, could be anything. Once the curtain opens, you have to pick up your card and you have 45 seconds to try to get the other person to guess what's behind them. You can say anything you want or use gestures. You just can't say any of the words on your card. Drew, you'll be guessing first. Let's get into position. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm not kidding. I didn't know it was going to spin. Yeah, me neither. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you face me so that th there's nothing you can't see. Now, let's, <clears throat> let's open the curtain and see what's behind you. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, a uh, very uh, uh, famous uh, painter. Picasso. Uh, on Monet. P on PBS. Oh, uh, Bob Ross. Yes. <laughs> now, he is uh, painting a, uh, a, uh, a, a man who used to hold his hand into, in his jacket like this. Uh, French. Is this a character or a real life historical person? figure. Historical figure. Yes. Napoleon? Yes. Okay, God. <laughs> Uh, and then, and, and then, uh, 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 and then that gentleman is doing a, a new type of exercise, kind of um, like a TRX. Yes, close. You do it. They do it around Central Park. They do it wherever you have like pipes and things you can hang on. Parkour. Yes, yes, that's right. So I got it all. Bob Ross painting Napoleon doing parkour. Okay. That's right, right? Okay, okay. Can we see? Then you can see. Look at this. Fantastic. By the way, that was so fun. <laughs> That's right, here we go. It's my turn. Uh, so let's rotate. It's my turn to guess. Here we go. Is that Will oh. Ferrell? Uh, yeah, we have, because that was Cambio. That was Will. That was Will Ferrell. <laughs> I love your glasses, Questlove. They're awesome. It's the green. I love color, and I make makeup, and I wear, and so I'm always looking at the, like, opacity and tonality. Um, yeah, of course, that's right. By the way, what is your the beautiful line? Oh, that I, I'm leaning all in on, and it's there's it's a chapter in, in there about me developing it. Did you see this? Um, this is like you're, dude, you're making like all cool looking like air that's fryers where I'm headed. and coffee pots. That's and... where I'm headed. I the, the beautiful life in the last year changed uh, in the last few years changed all of us. So I wanted to come up with a more less schmata, more living solutions based. <laughs> Um, like strategy for things that I wanted to make. And I love designing and I'm obsessed with the things that are forced to be out. Yeah. Garbage cans and, you know, air fryers. Coffee pots. The, the things that are out that we're you not putting chair. away. You can spin the chair. <laughs> and so I wanted to take a soft future approach. I can't hear you. And create a technologically driven I can't hear line. You. Um, All right, I can't hear a thing. Let's spin back. I just but it looks yeah, I don't beautiful. See out there in the marketplace, and it's driven me to become more of an inventor than you know, wanting to make another throw pillow because I I just think like our priorities changed, and so now I want to innovate uh, rather than just design. And this was the most fulfilling endeavor I've ever been on. Uh, well, now it's time for another fulfilling endeavor. Uh, I'm going to try to guess what's behind me. This is so fun because we just played like all those games recently and I'm, yeah. just, I'm all right. juiced up. All right, here there we go. go. Let's uh, grab that blue card and then let's open the curtains and time starts <laughs> when you start talking. Um, Olive Oil's husband in the cartoon was? Popeye. There we go. And oh, it's late at night. My bones are hurting. I need a... Massage. Thank you. And... Scotty Pippen's partner was... Michael Jordan. There you go. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Hi, Mike. Good to see you, buddy. Mike looks like he needs a massage. Yeah, he's he still wearing his Bulls uniform. Yeah. 
That's the way he, he, he likes to get recognized, you know? Yeah, and Popeye's still in his garb, too. Yeah, and still smoking all these years. Not I good know, for a corn cob pipe. I think he's vaping these days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, it is your turn to guess. Let's rotate this uh, moving thing. Our whole budget went to this. That was kind of a fun move. Uh, our whole budget turn. went to this with this rotating uh, stage. So a turn on the turn, and then we vomit. This is this is the new format of the Tonight Show. I interview you like this. <laughs> <laughs> Every question I ask you a question, they rotate, then you answer. Okay, let's see what is behind you, bud. <clears throat> I'm very excited. Oh, I love these. Uh, I love these. Uh, th this group. Uh, British. <laughs> A uh, British superstar, uh, um, Elton John, a, Radiohead, a, a group, a group, Beatles, of, uh, uh, Rolling Stones. I, I can't say uh, their gender, but they're not boys. Spice Girls. Yes, correct. Spice oh. Girls. They they are standing in where you were just with this miracle witness. Pumpkin patch. Yes. Ah. And they're drinking what holiday beverage? Eggnog. Yeah, uh, not quite that holiday. What holiday are we in now, kind of? Pumpkin spice latte. That's correct. Ah. They're God. drinking pumpkin spice lattes in a pumpkin patch. I love you. I know you're scary. I know you're scary. I know. I saw yeah, you. Yeah, you are. I saw that. Very How nice. How great is it that you say like Beatles, Rolling Stone, know the girls, the Spice or not? Yes. Not men. Spice not girls. men. And you go first thing. Spice first girls. Thing. They're what big. They're powerful. Holy yeah. Congratulations, uh, ladies. All right. It's time for our final round. Yeah. Let's rotate. All right, here we go. All right, now let's see what's behind me. Here we go. <clears throat> this is amazing. Okay, uh, she, uh, oh gosh, okay. Uh, every reference I'm, uh, but, um, I'm uh, Harry and William's grandmother. The queen. Yes. Her majesty. Yes. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street star. Freddy Krueger. Thank you. And, um, Leo on the bow of. Oh, okay. So it's it's Freddy Krueger and the Queen on the end of Titanic. By the way, maybe I should have looked at my card. <laughs> right? Or, or on the end, or just drawing it. Hold it. Oh, hi, Her Majesty. It's so good to see them. Oh my goodness, that is so scary. Uh, you look very beautiful, but they look very frightening. Thank you very much. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. I think I got a little too swept yeah, up. Yeah, you got swept up in the romance of I it all. Did. Drew Barrymore, everybody. Hey.